brain rot. Your mom has it, your kid has it. You have kids? I don't know. It's, it's the new popular disease that's going around and I don't like it um, because I have it as well. I, I doom scroll. I'm always on either YouTube shorts. That's pretty much it. It's gotten to the point where like me listening to music is like a detox from social media because I keep doom scrolling. YouTube is a platform. They've made some good decisions in the past. They've made some very poor ones. Very, very poor decisions. But what did, what did they do? They, they did something new. They did something new about a month ago and a lot of other actual established YouTube have talked about this. But you're going to listen to me talk about it, okay? So what, what's going on? Did they, did they bring back dislikes? No. Did they get rid of uh, hateful content? Not quite. They brought the brain rot. Not in video form, not in channel form, but with games. And you've definitely noticed, maybe, if you're scrolling through YouTube, you have the option to play some games. They're free. Have you ever found an ad and it's like a game and they're purposely playing it super bad and it's like only 1% can complete and then it's like crap that looks so easy i want to download that well now you don't have to download it it's already on your phone this is what youtube's been working on because why would a video platform need to you know fix things to do with videos when they they can make games because you know twitch competitor am i allowed to say twitch on this i don't know we're gonna put down the eeyore microphone We're going to take the microphone that takes up a, a, a quarter of the frame and we're going to play some brain rot games. Also to um, hammer in the brain rot, we're going to be playing these um, via iPad. I will say, I've played a few of these games and they were actually very entertaining. And it, it, it's really disheartening because I can definitely imagine like a little kid um, or like a grandma getting really sucked into these games. Um, but now we're going to be doing it for the sake of entertainment to really see like, what's the best game? What's the worst one? If you're going to play one, if you're going to waste all your time, because these are super well fleshed out games, y'all, you want to feel comforted with what game you're playing. So that's, that's what we're, that's what we're here to do. It's who's Louise. <laughs> More like who's John Mulaney. Okay, so I'm on YouTube. Remember, you, you can also watch videos on this platform. Okay, so we have we have some recognizable ones. Um, I've played Tall Man Run, but I, I feel like that's a very essential one to maybe start off with. We just go. Um, plus 15, perfect. Plus another 15. This is a very loud game. Plus 50. I don't really know like what the units in this game are. Um, we definitely don't want to divide by two. So basically, you just want to get as many as you can to make your guy bigger, I guess. Um, some of the ads that I've seen are ones with like different armies. Um, and again, they're always purposely making it look super bad. So there's like this end gauntlet. I remember this. And then... And no, no, we didn't... We, um... And we completed the level. You may be wondering, Isaiah, is there a way to not complete the level? And that's actually what we're going to be figuring out. So the way that they design games for children is very um, instant rewarding. There's lots of there's lots of coins. There's lots of you win. There's lots of gems. Like look at these gems. You're not spending the gems on anything, but you want the gems. So genuinely. Level two, we're going to try to lose. And this is what I'm going to do for a lot of the games. I'm genuinely, so I can't, can I, you can't walk off the thing. I'm avoiding these ones. I'm hitting all the things that I can. Minus 75. I'm going to jump. I can't even jump. I'm going to, oh. And look, you can't not win. <gasps> So that's the only way, is if you make it to the end. Let's try one more time, okay? If any parents are watching this, or anybody who's um, at all looking out for the well-being, 
I find this really disturbing. Listen, I know there's a YouTube Kids app. I don't know if these games are on YouTube Kids, but they are heavily targeted towards kids. Um, no sane adult besides me is playing these. It's disturbing. It, it really is because, well, you'll see. Um, Cause we're gonna play Adorable Home next. It's a simulation game. Um, adorable, nice word. Who doesn't love adorable things? And this looks like a cute game. This looks like a, choose your character. I see they have a real diverse selection. I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's not a single person who um, is wearing long pants. Like everyone's wearing a skirt or a short. But uh, I guess I'll go with the person who looks the most like me. Oh, there is skin colors. Okay, so it's just white is the default skin color. That's good to know. Wait, what? Whoa. Click and choose your partner. Oh. Um, like a romantic partner? Are kids playing this? Kids are playing this. Okay, um, I'm gonna choose the one that looks most like mine. Um, I guess? Okay, so I'm not... Okay, so I'm clicking... Okay, so I'm... I'm... Okay, so I'm... I'm... Okay, I'm just... I wonder if this is a game that people are like returning to day after day, kind of like a Stardew Valley or like a any, I guess, video game. <laughs> um, so that was a very nice game. Now we're going to go into some violence. So this is another game that I played um, more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> it's called Find the Alien, and it's very difficult. It's almost as difficult as... Um, it, it, it's a very difficult game. So we're going to start. Um, are you feeling brain rotty yet? Are you, are you, are you feeling the, are you feeling the rot? <laughs> okay. So we go in, right? And there's these multiple people. And so we can scan this person and it looks like their skeleton. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I bet. And then, um, this person, oh my God, it's an alien. And then we shoot them. And there's hard eye emojis, and we're getting closer to a gun, it looks like. Um, I actually know that's true because uh, when I last played this, I already got the gun because I played way too much of this. However, there's there's no saving this. <laughs> okay, now we go in. Um, I'm actually just gonna like zap. Like I already remember everyone who it was. Oh. And you can just zap them. I, I appreciate that you can just zap them without checking them. But also, how do you lose this game? Um, I actually do know. You lose this game by zapping the wrong person. So let's say we scan. And we zap this lady. The alien whips out his nine. But the thing is, last round there were multiple aliens. So why didn't the alien whip out the nine when I shot the first alien we're going to try again. We're going to get that gun. Come on. So imagine your little kid. Imagine you have kids and you're in the littlest one. They're, they're playing this game and they're zapping all these white people. And, and you know, they're getting so close. Remember, there's a progress bar. You're this close to winning. They're, you're always this close to winning. That's how they, that's how they market these games towards kids. Um, it's very simple looking. It's very simple to understand. There's literally two things. There's a scanner and there's a gun. Yeah, and then there's emojis that they love. Oh my god, mom, look at the emojis. I have never been more grateful to grow up just right before it got so horrible for kids to grow up. Um, I really worry for Gen Alpha, and I know that a lot of... I feel like millennials are going to become the new boomers, and they're going to look down upon Gen Alpha. Um, millennials don't know how to raise their children, no offense to millennials. Um, I don't have any millennial parents, so I can say that. The next generation is doomed. Oh, that's King Alien. It's the King Alien. I got him, guys. I Alien King Pit Pitiful. <laughs> you cannot stop the invasion. I'll be back. And it's just the happy little music again. Okay. 
Where are we? Tap to zap aliens. Boom. Boom. Zap. Zap. Why are they like boogieing down? They're having a good time. Oh, wow. And all these tanks. Is that Walt Disney? Everyone's like boogieing down. M remember, there's no... There's no large dialogue in many of these games, um, except for the last one that we played. But for the most part, there's never that much dialogue. It's very universal. Anybody from any sort of walk of life can play this game and easily become addicted because, well, you're just winning. You can't lose for the most part. Like, it's very hard to lose. You can lose, as we've seen. But I'm sold. And there's multiple progress balls. You're this close to getting the alien back again. You're this close to getting the I already knows the mom zap her yeah okay who's who's next uh oh so wait everyone's uh huh oh my god it's the delivery guy we're almost there we almost got the gun guys I promise this is gonna be so worth it I really do I I promise okay find the aliens I also like how it's the same body is being taken over. Okay, oh, the, there's more guys. There's more aliens. It's this lady. Wow, that's kind of like a around the. You don't you want you don't want to hit that one guy. One more and we get the alien. Come on, we can do this. Where am I, by the way? Like, oh shoot, there's an alien. Oh my god, there's another alien. Okay, so we got the gun. New weapon. Yes. Kids, um, I've never loved the argument that video games make kids violent. I, I really don't think that's a direct cause. I will say, though, these games are aimed towards toddlers, like to like elementary school kids. No middle schooler is playing this. This is like elementary school kids who are watching this and is like, I'm loving this. I freaking love this. And you may be saying, Isaiah, why are you so... Like, why are you always talking about, like, how this impacts children? It's because this is this is the demographic. While these games are all fun to talk about and they're, in, and they're interesting to play, it is very disheartening to know that, like, it's heavily... Yeah, buddy? Okay, we're done. We're done. I just wanted to test out my new weapon. Ooh, we're 10%. Should we play 50 more times? No, we're done. We're exiting and we're out. And I'm getting more water because it's important to stay hydrated. Draw a climber. I always like the ones that you, it's a little more interactive. You can draw it. So we're going to play. Um, and it wants me to draw this little hump. I'm going to test the limits. I'm going to draw a little spiral just to see. So here's the thing. Um, I'm pretty convinced that any of the shapes you make don't actually really affect how well your climber is going to climb. It's not really... Wow. And of course, there's always points. There's always scores. Like... And you can just claim 10 for doing something, right? Play. Searching for another opponent. Okay, so we have... Well, that was pretty quick for an opponent. Surely they're a real person, right? <laughs> Ooh, I, I went over the ramp and they didn't go over the ramp. So that's, that's what's going to happen. And it looks like I'm winning. It looks like I'm winning. Oh, crap. Come on, come on, come on. Why am I actually getting invested? And boom. I win. And they lose because that was a real person and not a computer. So, yeah. Lots of these games are very simple to understand. There could have been no words. And you still could have been able to figure out how to play. And you could get sucked in for hours. Now we're going to play... Um, Basketball Fever looks good. You know, there's Angry Birds Showdown, there's 99 Balls 3D, I don't really know what that's about. Let's play some basketball. That's sports. If your kid is ever like, Mom, I'm playing sports, um, you know, maybe they are, okay? Wait, that's it? 
We're just gonna play a little bit more. No, 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 no. We have emoji puzzle. We have. Let's let's play Turbo Starts. That looks very brain rotty. Um, this is the last game that we're gonna play. I love this. No, it's not over. Continue, continue, continue. So fun fact, I actually have already played this, but I didn't even realize because it was that forgettable. So we're we're really gonna do one that I'm sure I haven't played. And and I know just the just the one. It's just there's way too many. There there's way too many good ones. I mean we got Trivia Crack, Zoo Animals, The World of Wonders. I mean who hasn't? Who hasn't seen the classic cat act? Yep, right there, see? Wow, because it's cat and it's act. Okay, let's, let's just play a couple. Let's just play a couple. How long have we been here? Five hours? I don't know. This is it. This is the last one. We are going to play Bazooka Boy. Because it, it, it looks like the extra twinge of brain rot. Draw to aim... Release to shoot. Who am I? Am I the red guy? I'm the blue guy. Okay. Oh, and it just cut that right in a circle. Nice. And you kill him, and you win, and there's confetti, and there's dollars, and there's everything. So yeah, you just... This is like Angry Birds um, without the birds. Like, you can just, oh, double kill somehow. I don't even know how that works. But it, 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 like, it almost forces you to win. What happens if I shoot it in the air? I killed myself. You are failed. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what do you mean? This game wasn't developed <laughs> in English? I, 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 I did failed? You are failed? What do you mean? That's so funny. That's so freaking funny. Okay, we killed total annihilation. Wow. Level five can be... But there's dollars. What? These are targeted towards American kids? That's crazy. Oh, now there's like some texture because... Jesus Christ. What happens if I shoot in this guy? <laughs> you are failed. It genuinely says you are failed. Well, now I want to play one more. Now now we got to like... That's, that's too high of a high note to end off. Let's play... Um, let's play Knock Em All, because this looks also atrocious, so... It, it, it might it might work okay okay so i'm just shooting oh there's they're still alive like do you see how within the first 10 seconds i'm already playing the game it's instant satisfaction why am i kind of loving it though oh my god well i see the goal i see the end so i have to get there right and confetti Score, coins, guns, levels, cleared, you win, you are lost, you is... <sighs> that was as much brain rot as I could take for today. If you haven't noticed, um, and maybe I didn't hammer it in quite as much, <laughs> these are targeted towards children. What's wrong? Seriously, what's wrong? Like, let's say you... Genuinely, I would rather my kid play Call of Duty than this. And I'll tell you why. Instant satisfaction. Today's day and age, people have so few patience. Seriously. I, myself included, but I'm really trying to, to create habits to increase my attention span and a bunch of other things. Short form content destroys it. I make it. I watch it. Everyone makes it and watches it. So many people make TikToks. So many people watch TikToks. It's insane. Instant satisfaction. 
even just like with internet, you have emails, you have texts, you have DMs, you have videos, long form videos. There's so many people that didn't watch the end of this video and then clicked on a YouTube short instead. I don't blame you. I would have too. Listen, I'm not telling anyone how to live their life. And most people that are watching this probably don't even have children. But I do think it's important that YouTube thinks about the betterment of their platform. I know it seems weird to tell a company to not do something that could very well make you lots of money, but I'd argue that this very much hinders the platform. I get that it's kind of one of those things where like, if you don't like it, you don't have to deal with it. However, they're spending time on this when they could be spending time on bettering the platform. Why is this on here? Why is this on here? There's so many different ways that this platform could grow, um, but instead they just have brain rot games. And when I exit, um, YouTube playables, instant games, no downloads, instant relief, y'all. Instant relief. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> please like, subscribe, comment. I, I really, I'm having fun making my little videos. I really am. Um, I'm done cringing at them and I'm done not having fun. I think it's fun what I'm doing um, and I appreciate anyone who ends up watching these videos. I'll probably end up playing more brain rot videos if this somehow does well or if people want more. Um, but hey, just be glad that I made it through this video without using any of the following words. Riz. Skibbity toilet. Rizzler. Skibbity. Mr. Beast. Gyat. Holy Gyat. And I show speed. Thank you. Goodbye. We're having a staring contest. And you're losing. You're losing the staring contest.